Are you ready for an interview? It's Leanna Vamp and I know that she's gonna do a good job. It's your hat. It looks really nice and that at the end of my song. <laughs> so tell us your name, what you do, and how you got started. I'm Jessica. Um, I cosplay, I do Patreon, I do YouTube, I do lots of different things, and I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but it's really great. I got started because I went to Comic-Con in 2009 uh, because my friend bought me a ticket because he was like, hey, you're a nerd come do this. And I was like, oh, this is amazing. And then everyone was really awesome and really nice. And it was, it felt like I came home. Oh. Yeah. So what was your first or your first cosplay and what's your favorite right now? My first cosplay was a sexy Pikachu because I love Pokemon. Pokemon is my jam. Team Mystic. <laughs> if you're Valor, you can jump off a bridge. Oh, um, <laughs> And then, uh, blah, 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 blah. my favorite uh, costume right now is my Deathwing costume, which is a World of Warcraft dragon thingy from. That's badass. Yeah, thanks. I like it. Um, what would you say is the good, the bad, and the ugly about cosplay? Start with the good. Hmm. Maybe I should actually think about this one. The good, the bad, and the ugly of cosplay. Mm -hmm. Originally, I, I would think, you know, the people, the people, the people. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the good parts of cosplay are the community. The bad parts of the cosplay are, is jealousy, and then the ugly yeah. is, what would be the ugly parts? And what advice would you give to any newcomers? Like, what do you wish someone told you before you got started on your adventure in cosplay? I wish somebody had told me to not listen to anything that anyone had to say on the internet. Mm -hmm. um, I also wish that people had taught me about, um, oh, this other thing, heat and bond. Heat and bond is amazing. It's like this thing that you iron onto a piece of fabric oh. and then you push it onto the things and you can essentially make like patches and then you top stitch it down. It's, it's amazing. Like, it's like kind of like Stitch Witch, right? Where it's like yes. the, you make this, oh, that's nice. It's very, very convincing, um, yes. Yeah, don't listen to the people on the internet. I wish someone had told me that. I agree with that. I think my heart hurt a lot in the first two years. <laughs> At the beginning, you kind of take everything personal. Yeah. Like that person is telling you, you suck. And yeah. And it hurts. And then you realize that that person is someone you'll never see in your life. Yep. So why does it matter? Yep. Yeah. Or they say it to you in person and it's even better. Because <laughs> how do you react? What do you say? I, no one ever, come, no one ever comes One person, like, okay, so one time, one time I was, uh, I was at a convention and I walked past this to these two girls and they went, oh my God, that's Jessica and you. She's so gross, blah, blah, blah. And I turned around and I was like, I like your guys' costumes. And they were like, oh, thanks. Okay. And then I walked away and then I saw online and they were like, she said her costumes are nice and I felt really bad. And I was like, yeah, suck a dick. Um, justice but dick. With love. with love. With love. Suck a justice love dick. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. Um, what do you think about the trends that we're seeing on Patreon and people kind of pushing the boundaries? <sighs> I really like that girls are getting more and more comfortable with their bodies and I think girls should do that because that's what they have and if they want to use it the way that they want to use it, they should do it. Do whatever you want with your bodies, girls. <laughs> that's true, no. I, like, there are so many people that have like paid off their like entire college tuition or like paid for their family's like surgeries and stuff from doing like lewd suit, suit, ha! Lewd shoots <laughs> on uh, Patreon and kind of like just pushing those things and, and everything. And then I've also seen people who make entire TV shows and series on Patreon that have uh, stemmed from fans and stuff. Like Kinda yeah. Funny is the number one Patreon um, that's on right now. And it's it's just an incredible like place for fans to come together and, and to meet and everything. It's, yeah. it's amazing. It's a great awesome. tool to actually reach your fans. Because I think we see yeah. social media a lot of the times they don't see what you post. Mm -hmm. and this is mm -hmm. like people can talk directly to you. Yeah. I think it's a great tool. It's so awesome. Um, so in other industries, we see a lot of people trying to do something different to stand out above mm -hmm. the rest, but in the cosplay community, we see a lot of trends copied or repeated. What mm -hmm. do you think about that? I think it's fine. I honestly think if you are an individual, okay, people are going to follow you for you. They're mm -hmm. not going to care about other stuff. If they like you, they're going to like what you do, you know, and like everyone is going to do something differently. Like Carly in... Uh, Velma costume is so different from you in a Velma yeah. costume is so different from me in a Vel Velma and to, yeah. to Ivy you know yeah. it's like so many different people different personalities body yeah. types like it's so many different tastes yeah. you know and I, I think it's fine I think we, we also each have our own fan bases mm -hmm. but there's also crossover yeah so like our fans could be the same they could be different mm -hmm. and we could introduce each other to different people and different fans like if we kind of link up and yeah. support each other yeah i think collaboration is the best way to grow a rising tide will rise all ships and if you try to sink someone you yourself will drown 
very insightful. Yeah. <laughs> very freaking deep. All right. Um. So where am I? I'm lost. Okay, we're Don't here. Don't be lost. So who or what has inspired you to be creative and follow the path that you followed? Um. I okay. So when I first started costume costuming, I had no idea what cosplay was, but I saw Yaya Han online because I googled cosplay because everyone was like, "This bitch don't know how to cosplay," and I was like, "What's cosplay?" Um, what are they talking? What are they telling me that I'm doing? I don't even know. Exactly. Oh, and then uh, so I found Yaya, and I found Svetlana, and then um, yeah, they're they're kind of the ones that kind of pointed me in the direction. And then I kind of just wanted to start to kind of do my own thing because when I heard what I was doing was cosplay, they said it was costume play, mm -hmm. and I was like, okay, that means you play and you have a good time, right? You have fun. You have fun, yeah. So I went hardcore into the just like having a good time. I didn't care about accuracy. I just, I was like, I'm just having a good time. This is fun. I'm mm -hmm. going to do a boy version of this, girl version of that, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Yeah. You know, if, if this is a hobby, I'm going to make it a hobby. There shouldn't be rules to a hobby. Right. It should just be fun. And I think that's what like I like to tell people as well is there's no rules to this. You can do it however you want. Yes. As long as you're having fun, that's what matters. As long as you're not hurting anybody, it's yeah. fine. Yeah. I agree. Um, how would you like to inspire Ooh. others with what you do? Um... You have this amazing fan base, all these people that look up to you and follow you. What legacy do you want to leave? Uh, to just, I don't know, just uh, have a good time. Make a lot of friends. Life is short, and soon you will die. <laughs> Rock! <laughs> okay, so let's move on to Instagram, the fun stuff now. Yeah, yeah. So what is the funniest slash weirdest thing that you've gotten in your direct messages on Instagram right now? I, I really, I really wish I could show you a micro penis, but I just can't. I don't have anything. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm very entertained that that's the first thing that you went I to. I want to see one, and I penis. want one to be dedicated to me. <laughs> well, after this video, I'm sure you'll get a lot of those in your DMs. Please, please. Can you say please? I said, tried, I tried to say, like, please, I tried to say Jesus. penis, please, <laughs> but I said, please, like, Jesus, please, Jesus, please, please. <laughs> okay. So since there's no dick pics, apparently we're moving on. Okay. Um, in your last nine posts on Instagram, what's been the most popular? So the top three rows and why do you think so? Okay. Hold on. And show us so everyone understands. Is this one? It's just this one. Can you see it, mom? And I don't know why. Oh, I don't, I don't, you don't know. know. I, I don't know why. I really don't know why. I just did it because it was uh, those were like my outtakes for my YouTube video, and I don't know why. I just posted it. But people like it. They like you being you. That's so stupid. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, so, what are you working on right now and pursuing in life overall, in general? I would love to stop cosplaying. <laughs> uh, yeah, I want to get a house bus. <laughs> I want to take all my friends and I want to like drive them around the world and like take them to really cool locations so they can shoot their costumes. Maybe I'll do some more costumes yeah. and stuff like that. Um, I love cosplay. Don't get me wrong. It is exhausting it is when you do exhausting. it too much and too hard. Um, I really want to focus more on like more intricate uh, builds that I take more time with that I can really feel good about. But I think taking my time now and just like really working on something cool that I can be proud of and I can be like, ah, oh, and I can rewear more than twice yeah. is like, oh. Mm. So back to um, house boat, or not house boat, house bus. House, house boat, we could do a house, house boat too. House boat, slouch, house bus. What does your house bus look like? Because I feel like I have a it's, mental picture of what it gonna It's going to be like. blue and on the outside it's going to have like a little place that you can put a tent on the top. We're going to have solar panels and we're going to have a composting toilet. And I've watched lots of, uh, what is it, HGTV <laughs> house oh, bus oh, stuff. Oh. <laughs> wild thing. And then we're going to have like a little back room area for Ryan to stream with like a satellite internet connection. Oh. But we're going to have like a green screen around the back. So Ryan will, like people won't know that Ryan's on the bus yeah. unless he's streaming while we're driving. So then he's going to be like this. He's going to be like <laughs> bouncing around doing the stream. But yeah, so I want to do the house bus because I think it'll be really fun and it'll be really cool to like fall asleep under the stars and then maybe maybe like wake up and see like little baby deer. I want to go on the house. Want to come on house bus? Yeah, we can go find baby okay. bats. Okay, baby bats. Yeah, baby bats. All right. Any last words and let the fans know where they can find you on the internet, social media. Um, stuff. I don't know any last words. I don't know. What would you say? What? I I mean I don't know. One. One. No, okay. Are we singing? Are we going to break out in song and dance? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Be you. Be unapologetically you. I like that. Yeah. Oh, and you can find me on YouTube.
Jessica Negri. Instagram, Jessica Negri. Facebook, Jessica Negri. Twitter, Jessica Negri. Oh, Jessica Negri. Easy enough. Yeah. Okay, and I have something for you. This is Why? Thank you for doing this. Thank you. Because you're awesome. What is it? you can open it and for the fans. <laughs> Fucking Jesus! <laughs> Come in the frame. Come in the frame. Come on, come in the frame. Come on. You're almost there. Ba-boom! You're almost there. Oh! Yeah!